This is more than likely going to be the longest and most extensive review that I'm probably gonna do on this product. I hope y'all are ready. Hey there, it's good to finally be back. Thank you all so much for 117 subscribers. I know that I keep saying this, but I am grateful, surprised, and confused. <laughs> I don't know why I'm growing, but thank you. Anyway, I hope y'all are doing good, and hopefully this might be my last Viore video. Maybe, I'm not sure yet. So without further ado, let's just do a real quick review of the past two months regarding the Hidden Waterfall scented shampoo and conditioner bars. First of all, smells amazing. It is my favorite scented shampoo and conditioner of all time. So if you don't know me, I am a huge smell person. So if it does not smell good to me, I'm avoiding it like it's the plague. I don't care what good things it can do for me. It has to smell good too. If I can try and put it into words, it smells like what I imagine an island would smell like. If you think that's over the top, I would like to hear what you think in el Eland. It's in Eland. I'm recording right now. Before I show you the, the research portion of the videos, I just want to say starting out, my hair has a funky cut. That's because I cut it. No one should ever put scissors in my hand. But also, I had stopped using Viore because something was just not right with my hair and I had no idea why. So I stopped using them to try and figure out what it was that was affecting my hair negatively. But before I go off, here's where I put Viore back into my hair care regime. Okay, so here we are back in my bathroom again. And here I have the waterfall scented Viore products. So, um, yeah, after a month of not using them, we're back. So hopefully the results by the end of this month will be good. There is so much more that goes into your hair than just like what kind of shampoo and conditioner that you use. And it's blowing my mind right now. I did not realize how negligent of caring for my hair that I was. And I feel really stupid. So let's get this thing started. So again, we know what to do with the shampoo bar if this is your first time watching one of my Viore videos. Then all you need to know is that you rub it on your hand to get it sudsy and then you start rubbing it in your hair. Gently, don't scrub your head with it, just gently wash it and follow behind with your other hand to just like get it down on your scalp, you know, on your roots and stuff. Um, the conditioner, for whatever reason, rattled my brain. Okay, the conditioner bar is a little interesting because it doesn't sud. So you really have to pay attention to how it lathers. Like I just like rub it for a long time on my hand. And like you'll start to see it kind of like bunch up on the sides like that. And that's, that's what I use. But yeah, don't, don't do it like that. I'll explain later. Like I'm gonna have to do that several times though. Okay, I feel like I have the conditioner all throughout my hair. So I'm gonna finish the rest of my shower and I'll be back. Okay, so this is my hair fully dry. Finally, it literally took three hours. Um, as you can see, it has a lot more movement in it and it is still soft, it is still shiny. I'm watching this baby hair to judge it for growth because this is the one that like annoys me the most. You see how like it just kind of sticks up right there. It's super freaking annoying and I can't do anything about it. So yeah, this is day one. Um, going strong. I am trying my best to wash my hair and dry my hair properly. So I think I said I'll be back on day five. We'll, we'll see whichever day comes next after this. So after the first wash, Without using a blow dryer, my hair seemed to have a lot more bounce and wave to it. Like it, it was not as flat as it had been. Of course, one wash is not proof enough to say whether or not the product is part of the problem or the solution. Okay, so this is my hair right now. And this side looks a little funky because I took a nap while it was wet. But this is what I'm talking about with like the difference in how my hair looks now. And how it did a few months ago. Like even in my last Viore review video, my hair was not doing this with the product and that was because I was killing it with heat. And I keep bringing up that point because sometimes like when people's hair starts to, you know, look bad, they automatically think like, oh, it has to be my shampoo or conditioner. And sometimes it's not. Like it, it could be anything. That's why you have to experiment with it. But yes, while I do back Viore as being a good shampoo and conditioner, 
I also know that it has its limits. I do not think that it's gonna help uh, defrizz my hair anymore. Um, it is helping my hair grow, but what is also helping keep my hair healthy is not using as much heat. Um, winter is really that season where all the moisture just gets sucked out of my hair and that does have to do with the climate that I'm in. Kansas becomes dry in winter and we have humidity and moisture in the air in the spring and the summer so it's easier for things to retain moisture in the winter not so much and some some people may have the exact opposite problem you know they might have bad hair in the summer and wonderful hair in the winter but again different hair requires different solutions so I'm gonna rush to work because I have like 20 minutes to get ready and get there so I'll see you the next time I do this. Just to touch on my different hair requires different solutions and when I say experiment I need to look around. Search up what your hair type is and see if there's anything that you should be adding to your hair care routine or maybe some stuff that you should take out. Hair is fragile. Like it can be strong but at its core it's fragile and using the wrong products for it can really do some damage, as well as using heating products continuously. Hell, what you eat, how much water you drink, if you smoke, the environment that you live in, that's all going to affect your hair. So I do apologize if the previous videos that I have made sounded like I was saying that Viore is like the ultimate all-in-one hair care product. It's not, and it's not supposed to be. It is one item in caring for your hair. There's a laundry list of stuff that you need to do to keep your hair healthy and strong. Now, why did I think that Viore was causing me hair problems? I went back to look at a few of my videos and I noticed that my hair had lost its wave. Like it's, it's very long, so the wave is now kind of like exaggerated a little bit, but I've always had loose waves. I'm used to my hair kind of being bouncy a little bit right here, but it seriously picks up its curl and wave at the ends. And my hair was full of oil the day after I had showered. And what's really embarrassing to me is that I saw the signs in my last Viore video, where it's just like, it doesn't look oily, but it has no wave to it. It has it's just very flat, it's straight. And I had recorded that video the day after I had showered. And as you've seen, my hair is a mess of waves and curls when I first take a shower. So I stopped using the shampoo bars for a week and I went to another shampoo. I just used my mom's shampoo and conditioner and I was still having the same problem. So light bulb went off, maybe it's not what I'm washing my hair with. So because I was like, okay, this isn't the problem, what else could it be? I did some digging around, I stopped blow drying my hair and that's when I started seeing a difference. Okay, I'm in my scrubs because I have to be at work in like five minutes. Well, I don't have to be there in five minutes, I just need to leave in five minutes to get there on time. I'm a good employee. Um, So this is what my hair looks like. It has so many more curls and waves in it. It is still staticky, but it's not dry, it's not flat, and it's not oily. So, I think this is good. It has a lot of volume. Um, my baby hairs, I believe my baby hairs are growing because there's a piece over here somewhere. Yeah, here they are. It's like, I'm pretty sure that they're, uh, they're growing. It's getting thicker. But yeah, there was like, this piece right here, I guess, it was super short. There it is. This piece right here, it was like half the length it was a while ago. So I'm pretty hopeful. And of course, because my hair is curlier, it looks a hell of a lot shorter, but I promise you it's still hella, hella long. But I'll take a picture of the length difference in two days. Until then, I'll see you there. Yeah, I am so happy that my hair is bouncing back. I was super scared there for a second. Okay, this is day two. So I washed my hair yesterday and it was super curly and super wavy. Now it's kind of gone back to its just very loose wave phase. And this is usually what my hair does when it's healthy. So it gets super, super curly after I just let it air dry, right? And then the second day is just back to its usual, I don't know if it's a wave self, but my hair is not flat sticking to my face like it's covered in oil. It's not feeling like it's stripped of anything. 
and it's not frizzy. So for an entire month, like I did not know what was going on with my hair and now it's looking so much better than it did and I'm really really hopeful that I caught myself in time before I seriously damaged my hair. So yeah, I am extremely happy with Fiori right now. I'm also extremely happy with the leave-in conditioner that I've bought and I'm also extremely happy with myself for cutting back on hot water and hair dryer because that was the ultimate killer of my hair this season. So yeah, I am a huge believer that the right combination of shampoo, conditioner, leave-in conditioner, and the reduce of heat is what's making my hair healthy. I still absolutely recommend this if you are wanting like healthier hair or you want your hair to grow faster. Because I had cut my hair not less than a month ago. It was like up to here. Now, now it's down to here. So I'm gonna come back tomorrow and I'm gonna show you what my hair looked like the day after I washed it when I was not using Viore and I was using a ton of heat on my hair. I hate it. Obviously my hair needs to be washed, but I was looking through some of my old videos and literally just from a month ago, my hair has changed so much. There are differences between like the day that I wash my hair and the day after. And literally, I remember like the day after I washed my hair, it looked like this. Like, here, let me get in its usual style. Because honestly, it looks even better now, even when I do this. But even after the day that I washed my hair, if I was using a blow dryer, this would already be flat and oily. I am seeing some significant changes, and I'm really, really happy about this. Ah, I almost dropped my bar. Okay, so I have been using this for a month, and I found that like the easiest way to do it is to kind of get it like wet and like rub it down here by your ends, and then just kind of like a little bit more right here, because like this thing gets lathered pretty quickly and it just kind of allows you to take that lather and put it all throughout your hair. And from what I read, because I've been trying to take care of my hair better, you want to leave like two inches or something from like right here. You don't want to like put conditioner right here. It's just like mainly like where I'm doing it right now. So it's not as difficult as I was previously making it to be because I just like kept rubbing it on my hand and then trying to put it in my hair. That wasn't working out. So yeah, um, I will come back to you once I am done. Hey, I'm back. So this is my hair while well, it's wet. And something that I also learned was to not like rub your hair with a towel and like not exactly do what I did at the very beginning either. You're not supposed to like let the towel drape back. You're supposed to like bring it around to the side so it doesn't pull on your roots. Cause that pulling on your roots is a bad thing. Um, the second thing I learned is that you want to use like an old t-shirt to kind of like not really take the moisture out of your hair, but also not leave it like soaking wet either. So just a few things that I have noticed is that my baby hairs don't seem to be like baby hairs anymore because when I pull my hair back, everything goes. Everything goes except for this guy right here. This is a baby hair. He ain't so baby anymore. He's a teenager now. Um, same thing as usual, I'm not gonna blow dry my hair because I'm really just trying to get my hair healthy and test out the product at the same time. I'm hoping that's not gonna like mess up <laughs> anything. Um, I'm hoping that the results of the shampoo and conditioner kind of mirror the first video because I think that Viore, when they promised hair growth, they kept to it. When they promised hair shine, they kept to it. You know, same thing with like getting healthy hair. My issue, my specific issue was heat. So even if you use a shampoo or condition that's just like, oh, hey, it's gonna do all this for you, and you're still like causing a problem that is damaging your hair, that product is not gonna fix it. So it's kind of like experimenting a little bit. Because I had used the Viore bar before in the summertime when I wasn't really using my hair dryer because it was, I could go outside and dry my hair instead. I didn't have the issues that I usually have. So now I've discovered heat products, they really do do some damage. <laughs> they will leave you drier than the dust bowl. So I will pass you off to the person who has dry hair and will wrap up this video for us. So 
Great seeing y'all again. Sorry it took so long. I hope you like my new, my new bathroom. It has a lot more space. I'm liking it so far. Now, how long is my hair? Well, let me show you. It's all the way down, past my boob. Again, this needs to be cut, like right here needs to be cut, but I suck at cutting my hair, so I'm not gonna do that. And yeah, I got some pretty long baby hairs now. That one guy, Curly Q, I don't know where he's gone, but he's, he's somewhere in here doing some funky business. Like he was, he was like right here last time we saw him and now he's, he's just somewhere in the length. I'm about four months away from a year from my first Viore review. I'm not gonna keep using something that only works in the short term and not the long term. So I believe that I can count this as long term use. Absolutely correct me if I'm wrong on that. But I used a combination of things to repair and restore my hair's health while using Viore. I used a leave-in conditioner that is good for all hair types. I started taking hair vitamins, drinking my water, drying it differently, and learning how to tie it without damaging it. Like, what, what are they called? It's like protective styling. Will I continue to use Viore? Yes, because in my opinion, it held up to what it said it was gonna do. It has made my hair grow like a freaking weed and it's not stopping. My hair is still shiny, it's still soft, and I would give it credit for the strength but I believe that's in combination of deep conditioner and vitamins. I'm trying to prevent permanent damage and hair loss because loss prevention is so much easier to do than hair regrowth. Like once it's gone, it's so much harder to get back. I still to this day believe that the Viore company should be giving more of its profits to the Red Yao. Without these people, the company and the products would not exist. I don't know how much profit the company has made, but I think that like the Red Yao should be getting a good chunk, good chunk of that. Um, someone commented that they saw someone who said that they had changed the ingredients. I also went on, looked for other reviews and found not really bad ones on the Viore website, but Amazon? So I'm not like sure how like legit I should take these, but there were people who were showing pictures of like clumps of hair and saying that this happened after they used the product, that their hair was drier, that their scalp was itchy or the opposite, now it was too oily. I did not experience that. However, if I start experiencing clumps of hair coming out, there's gonna be a problem. I am extremely protective of my hair. My hair is the only thing I really like about myself. So I'm trying to preserve it a little bit. I have watched other YouTube videos where they said, yeah, it made my hair real oily, so they stopped using it. I have not seen people saying that clumps of hair was coming out. Again, it could be happening. I do not know. So what is the takeaway from this video? I learned that there is so much more into caring for your hair than just using a good shampoo and conditioner. Like you really cannot half ass it. I blew dry my hair a few times and immediately my hair just went back to being flat. So I just, I cannot use heat on my hair right now. It's just not a good idea. Using just shampoo and conditioner is not gonna be enough to keep your hair protected and healthy. Or maybe it is because again, everyone's hair is different. Is caring for your hair expensive? Absolutely. freaking lutely But you just gotta keep your eyes out and know where to shop. Google was my best friend through this experience. When I was looking up articles as to what was going wrong with my hair, looking up what products I could use to repair my hair. So I'm sure that they will help you out finding those answers. I do hope that I covered everything in this video. Please let me know if I didn't and always feel free to drop a comment or a question. I will try to answer it as soon as I can, as best as I can. And maybe while you're near the comments, just because you're there, why not leave a like and subscribe? Because I wanna know if I'm doing good. So in that sense, dislikes are also welcome. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and I do hope to see you in the next video. Until then, stay safe out there. Bye.